how to put tubes on an OPFS. Alright. Notice how the tubes are laying. That's how you want to attach them to the pouch. First, what we got to do is get the tubes through the hole that's punched in the pouch. And this is how I like to do it. And what I'll do is stretch it a little bit, turn the pouch a little more. A little bit more. All right. It's one side. And I get a number 32 rubber band. it snug two wraps and so I don't break the rubber band I'll go ahead and spit on it there we go And, uh, and just go ahead and knot it. Trim some of the excess, not too short. And then the other side. Okay. And I do the same thing, have it curving like this, so it's straight with the pouch. And what that does is it allows the the pouch to rain remain more open okay I want a little more through here all right and you see how I place it up on it like this that makes it more snug two wraps Get the knot ready. Spit. There we go. And sometimes if it's a little close, I'll just go ahead and pull it on through a little bit. Okay. Excess cut off. Okay. Tube protectors. And I get these at Target. Uh, they come about uh, six feet long. 
and I cut them about uh, one and a quarter inch long. Okay. make sure that no part of the tube is touching the fork and this is good you have a little more felt like that's good okay number 64 rubber band just make sure there we go see how it's how it's hanging here you can't you want it as straight as possible that looks good and I like to tie it off low okay I get one lap on here and I'll pull the other side a little bit that's two Three, four, five, and then the sixth one is a tie. Okay, got the excess. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and spit so I don't break the rubber band. Cut the excess, not too much, not like that. And this one you can just let it lay there, like this. And you know it's straight going in. Make sure I got the same same amount of tube as it is on this side. Tube protector, I should say. Okay. Now. Okay, I'll square it up like this, and I'll put my forefinger into the pouch centered, and then I just kind of gauge the two ends here. Okay, I need to put a little more tube in there. Now I'm going to call that good. Sixth one is going to be a tie. Cut the excess about like that. Little spittle. All right. Tie it off. Excess. 
not too much and if this if this bothers you you can cut that too now as far as the working length uh, starting off I would uh, measure from here to here right here start off with six inches or a little longer um, I generally shoot uh, about 4.5 inches four and a half inches which is considerably shorter than this but you gotta save that till you've got some experience shooting uh, one of these and <clears throat> this this is a pouch that I cut and I would say that the GZK are the best pouches to put on an OPFS. I like these. Tough. Okay. I get uh, some requests occasionally what kind of tubes that I prefer, what, ty what type of tubes that I use with uh, fast draw and other types of shooting. So, I get them from McMaster Car. Okay. And the item number for the black tubes, and you do have to specify black because if you don't, they'll send the amber. And the ambers are a little faster, but I tend to do better with the black tube and they do last longer. The item number is 5234K. 242 and it uh, measures 1 8 inside diameter 3 16 outside diameter and I think there's a choice of either 10 feet or 25 they quit making the 100 foot rolls or they they quit uh, selling them so uh, 25 foot long is not too much um, so, and that's, uh, that's how I tie these off. And so, all right.